Okay, hello everybody. Um, I hope you have enjoyed the Halloween. Uh, it's fun with kids. It's a holiday that you're giving. So, getting going with like for today. Um, we finished talking confidence interval. We introduced this lecture. We're going to finish that up first. And we're going to introduce the section of coverage, the statistical property that confidence intervals have. And we do um, confidence I'm going to switch from confidence intervals to hypothesis test. And I'll introduce hypothesis testing to the concept of values and of spirit of statistical significance. We will all discuss project cephalopathies. Um, and to list experiments, that example that we use illustrate statistical significance. And it's using um, a now technique in order to conserve it. So let's begin by uh, finishing our question on confidence intervals. Recall the confidence interval to point out plus or minus a number of errors. First thing that um, I understand about um, approaching confidence of that is that it's on the norm approximation. The approximation is that the distribution on average is approximately distributed. We had a few different, we looked at the Colorado approximately. I plot your different quizzes or whatnot, approximately normal. Our approximately normal, lots of things that presented as this are normal. In the process of two, of course, there are two things that we are going to consider approximately normal. The first, Charges and the second question coefficient. You can, can long in uh, undergraduate methods see, see that they're very, very similar. So, our argument is that the simple average approximately distributed or repeated errors. This is a statement of the sum there. What this tells us to do construct confidence intervals are at or minus the number of stars. And then that plan is certain standard errors to come from the distribution. So let me where it comes from. Um, this is a normal, this is the dense normal random. And we're going to assume that our point is right in, and we want to know how far to the left to go to cap certain proportion mass of this distribution. So to motivate 95% of this interval to property distribution, it from 1.6 to 9.9 standard error, 1.9 negative 1.6, it has 9% of the area under this. So what I'm saying is that it dropped a confidence interval with plus 9.6 standard minus one standard expecting that contain the true 95% of the time. If constructed 80% interval, we're gonna look at our normal distribution and go plus or minus 0.64 errors. Numbers come from miracle that integrals just them as a given. Um saying is I take a estimate and, and go one point for standard error and above and below the point of that, then over repeat samples, the probability that that confidence interval became the true value 90%, 9 and 10. I'll explain the part, but the first, the, the critical values, the 1.4 and 1.6, are constructed contain 5% respect of 90% normal, normal curve that we make the distribution follows. It turns out to be the case that a large number of applied work and a portion of applied this, this application works fine. Running a regret, doing it different means this will work fine or about almost all. So 
before you use it in this. If you're working with this underlying approximation, what you need is a bootstrap introduced in the collection. That will always work, except it just involves a loop, it's a little computationally expensive. So in the simple case, mean plus minus a certain standard error. So um, we'll talk about the 95 confidence interval. This slide is just from the other day. 95% confidence interval is the range. Estimate minus 1.96 standards. I like 1.9 to 2 in our heads that everybody does. Okay. Um, so it's x plus or minus 2 errors, plus or minus 0.96 errors. For the purposes of grade, either acceptable on problem set. <laughs> so what is the statistical probability that this interval has? This is that's a conceptually at first, so I'm not sure we understand. A confidence interval has a property that occurs repeated experiments, 90, 95 confidence interval, the property that occurs repeated experiments, it will contain the value of 95% of those experiments. It doesn't say anything about the data you're looking at. It says if I were this experiment again and again and again, 5% of this interval contain the truth. So this suggests a more science knowledge accumulation that requires multiple studies, multiple sets. If you have an interval falls all the way to zero, one study, well, it doesn't tell you the second study, the third study, after two studies, we start things. It's a really common in uh, journals, but all more journal fees and senior include two or three data set so that you have three different kinds of intervals. You want it to the same thing different times and we start to all right. Um, to illustrate the point, the simulation the results of relation study explain how it I took a random variable. It's one at standard deviation was each line sends a of a uh, hundred observations from that variable, and then I count the mean and the error. Okay, then from in the standard, I did plus or one point nine standard error, and I asked how many times did this interval cover the truth? This is a different draw, and luckily, and this is red lines are cover the truth of one, the gray lines that do not true value of one. And in this particular draw, five, two, three, four, five, confidence interval cover zero, 95 of them. What that means is if there's a high in the room and I give you a data set from which the truth is one and you're normal and I mean in a standard, and you all do study on this, you know, your own. 95 of you record a comparable that contains value of one and five. Okay. So we're dealing with a mode of difference that looks cross study. A different way to say that is if, gosh, you know, like you're looking at the results of the long term historical post process, right? Your, your thesis. Do that stuff over and over. Sometimes it's a data set. So, the way to understand the cost interval is across well done states, none of those cost intervals will continue to All right. Another thing to think about it is that take a journal, all the studies are done, and let's say the course of two articles. Studies, one confident intervals we expect not contain. We expect 19. So the idea I want you to think about is the cover is across 
facts and we declare before we begin. Our we need to accept a certain falsehood rate studies in India, just we're talking about certainty. But the evidence interval, estimate plus two standard, is going to give an idea of what our point estimates. In out of 20, it'll contain the value, but it can't say anything. Okay. So there are two ways to conduct that you'll encounter in works. The first report count the plus or minus two standards. Some people will repeat that, which are the hypothesis. So a count interval is centered on an estimate, and it's going to be my best at the estimate here somewhere. The p value comes from um, a connection related difference, but it has a difference. Going to do with uh, hypothesis testing, we're going to say I don't think the S is zero. So rather than I think the S over here, we're you know what looking at the data, not very likely the estimate is. There's a little bit of topical work in all of that. But let's go to the notion of statistical hypothesis testing. Probabilistic argument. It's approved by conviction. So the way to conduct, we're going to conduct a null hypothesis. Explain the null hypothesis. Embed the statistical significance that we talk about, testing them, is the C concern nature of a statistical work. Okay. Small C conservative, I mean that. Trust it. And what you're going to do with your hypothesis, say, you know, take my mind, gather my, I'm going to spend gathering my data, interview people, put it up, clean, put it all together. And then I'm going to do an answer. What I'm going to do is assume that the truth is zero. That's the hypothesis. I'm going to assume what I'm looking is not there in the data. I'm going to assume that theory hypothesis that I all this time about conception, measuring and defining is not there. And we start a place of um, max. We start a place of assuming effect is zero. And then is I'm going to let it try to tell us what means is we're not chasing as positive. In this approach, saying, you know, I really think it's positive, look for a positive. What we're statistic is I'm going to do the effect and let the data run. That's the note of hypothesis testing. We're going to ourselves, we're going to say that the true of zero. Here's my point. Is it to recover this estimate the true effect? Likely amount of this statistic or one law if the true effect is zero and the number is small, we reject the hypothesis. That, you know what? V is probably not is probably happening in a But we're guardrails chase effects that aren't. So in order to so construct a hypothesis, a hypothesis, every set or effect is you pick a test. This could be a, you know, different, so regression efficient, ones we will use. Then you find out the sample distribution of your statistic, and I'll distribute. This is the, we'll go through these one at a time. This is where we say, let's imagine that we're living world in the true zero, what would the distribution of my statistics look like? Then you say, well, statistic I here's the distribution of the statistic, there were no effects. Am I likely to see that statistic if indeed no effect? Will the step 
have a few examples. So let's talk about an octopus. Do folks do you remember um, octopus in the ten World Cup? Okay, thank you. Few people do. So Paul Octopus was an octopus who could see the future, right? Um, one of the outside of the World Cup, there was a fellow who was the octopus. And by the way, octopus actually are smart. I just want to see this. Folks see the that hopped out aquarium in New Zealand. It hopped out of the tank and 20 feet and went to the door and escaped. There's actually studies that show that the entire self will learn to use to just let's just say they're underwater. So do you have any tied up with individual creature? Come into the brain and just go together. You just reverse the uh, the time go together. Yes, um, so in that case, which one is it? Okay, either way. So octopus outside the cup, and the person managing take two different bags, put the ball's cage and would swim to the other. And his tentacle, all knowing tent brown one or the other. And what happened in the 10 world, Paul Correct picked Germany or Australia. Serbia over me in Germany, Ghana. And correctly, me versus England, right? Germany over Argentina, Spain over me, Germany over Uruguay, and the Netherlands. So, way down. All pick the right hands, pick the win the entire world. So, did Paul just get lucky? I mean, maybe. But let's this from the print statistical end. What we're going to say, let's assume that Paul actually knew nothing about her. And, or I guess, I don't football going here. Football. So it's called soccer. It's from the British Associated League. Um, I'll also we'll say football for a few minutes. Um, so Paul get lucky. Right. So what we're going to do is that Paul choices, choices are no different than a coin. Um, no difference between what we're going to do and one flag side of a coin, flag or another fair coin. Okay. Are not. Hypothesis is Paul is randomly the winner, or to put it different, Paul has a chance of one verb. And that's our hypothesis. I'm going to ask A to persuade other words. The test is the number of answers. In this case, Paul got out of eight. All right. So there were eight answers, Paul got eight correct. Distribution is the distribution of choices by the flip process. To flip a eight times probability that all eight. In this case, the probability that gets them all is one over the eighth, which is zero point zero four. So what we're saying that if we make no hypothesis that Paul all the is no in a coin probability that coin plus gen answer eight in a row is actually point zero zero. Is it likely to observe a coin process that's 50 guessing row correct? Not really. What we're left with is statistics significant set. All the octopus number of choices that gets correct really unlikely the null hypothesis that is just getting between the Also, is there a possible certain rounds? If for that, there's 
ties can happen. Um, drops the value right here from 0 0.04 to 0, 0. Please. There's nothing rigorous to start. But I see studies going around, and I we're going to do, and I'll, I'll switch over to a that's just species. Um, in to your question, questions to ask for actual intent science. Um, I think that uh, there was the um, trained his horse location by giving him food, whether to stand back leg or thing. So, what you might do is double and have random put the flag, right? Um, you might replicate it, see if it replicates the problem is that it dies. You know, like that sort of puts the kibana. Changes our question of halt stick to the pipe. I might be programmed, but I don't think it's as proper. The changes, let's not dig, not waste any time on this. Um, <laughs> But those are the questions I'm asking. We'll get into a question in a moment with that. So you, let's go get some data on Paul. We did the same 2000 games. And in this case, Germany, Poland, um, he got six, um, a 14 match that he got and 12 correct. Pretty good for us. What we want to know, he got 12 out of 14. What's the probability of 12 more if that Paul is different from? So this is where the coin 12, 13, or 14 out of 14 different tracks. How many want to know the problem getting the observed or more? Okay, and that's the definition of value. A p the probability of observing statistic is as you did, or larger for the null hypothesis. So, well, we'll get to that. So, in this case, the probability of observing 13 or correct coin flip is zero, zero, zero. Paul is good. It's not likely to serve so many classes purely. Now, as we're introducing, I just want to make a sidebar and about confidence and because I'm going to try to know these issues formally. Expect expect definitions for the quiz, I'm really going to ask for them in the context study. Then we're going to ask um, to be carried beyond the conference course. Sometimes the final, I will walk out hear the statistics lightning from their ears. Okay. Values and intervals are something I want you to take know how to the formal definition, reasonable, almost exact definition, wrong definition. Confidence has a confidence interval, has the product at over 100 studies. It, a 90 confidence has the product over 100 studies. And 95 of them, it will continue to value. A P, the probability of observed statistics as large as you did under the null hypothesis. Probability of 12 correct, correct, or correct under the hypothesis of. So, formal definition there in the slide. The intuitions, the intuition of the p is that a quick way, this, and there's a quiz the intuitive under or what it's trying to answer. What's the probability of observing something you observe? 
are extreme by chance. Technically, you know, hypothesis, that's the one that's the intuitive under that's what it's about. What's the problem of seeing what this did? What you were looking at, pure noise. Was pure. That's the intuitive of saying the people are formalized. So those of you who think animals can future, here's one. Paul had in the 2010 World Cup. Um, man, parakeets are also, by the way, they, they can, can speak actual words and they can under a certain number. Of, so like for a bird, they're bright. Many of the parakeets. Well, I guess another one is Brazil, over Ghana, over Argentina, and over Paris this year, Uruguay, Netherlands, but that year. Um, so Germany and over the Netherlands, this one wrong. <laughs> Go through and do that exercise, man. I'll get a zero, zero, six, five. We'll put a critical threshold of zero, zero five, statistical significance. Zero point zero five, there you know, be something. So my question, why are we finding these effects? Do you believe that there is an ox that can tell the few parakeet that's at Anyone buy that? I'm asking because hopefully, okay, part of it to believe. The social science is like, no, no. So what do you think about? When you hit the studies where you're like, yeah, oh, that's just what's happening. Do it a little bit. And what's happening is that working lots of these games, there were a lot of animals predicted, sort of like a, people would pay to these animals for games. And if you hit animals, one of them is going to Hamlet. Okay? They're going to get in it. So the problem of molesting. If you were the only us out there and Manny were the occupier out there, I'd say maybe. On like a bio mechanism, I learn more. When you realize lots of people out there do, some of them are just right. One way to see it. So we're going to key value of zero five threshold. That's Standard of science. If you hard science, is that number is to zero one or zero zero one, but basically understand there is a threshold value. We're at zero point five. If you're p below that, we statistically can't. If it's a, we say it's a binary decision that we're making. Let's take that out of the game that we're animals forecasting. What's the getting a value of less than 0 0.5 at least point the calculation in front of you? Um, what that means, and we'll come back to a few different ways, that we have a world where there's intro effect, but in normal testing, something's going to be You ask yourself this field of, right? I'm in science. It's possible political science publishing results is completely by intro results by 20 people. And that's what we talk about waste. All right. In this with multiple hypothesis test, multiple tests, if they're in testing something statistically significant. And we want against this. Our hypothesis <clears throat> that we had an outcome to sample out, or that independent people that allow us to conduct some means. And this is the problem we're going to, we're going to build this out. Of In the question we're going to answer. Is an observed become significant 
different from zero. The difference in between groups is different from zero, statistically different. So let's talk about how we're going to do this. In order to set up a high test, we walk through five. There's more steps coming. We're going to define an end. The end is what we're trying to estimate. In um, one sample, it's just the expression of some output. Pay more attention to sample K. What the difference in mean between is the difference between the treatment control group. Uh, then we have an estimate to define a stick that as the estimate. We want to know the difference in means. Statistic is going to be sample difference. You know, the outcome for one minus the outcome for other. Doing that so far, of course. Then we're going to supply a null hypothesis. And we're going to on the second hypothesis here. The hypothesis look is saying I'm going to assume that the mean treated is, is the mean for the control. I'm going to assume this line down here. I'm going to assume that the mean come for the group equals one is the same as the mean come for x zero, meaning x and y statistically independent. And I'm going to I'm going to data try different. No hypothesis generally that the effect is zero. We don't look around assume we're trying to go like, ah, the data just me what I assume, right? That's statistics. We assume there's in the data that we at, data persuade other ones. The P value, if we assume the effect is zero, Likely is it the statistic we construct from the value? Is it to observe statistic or if the outcome is not likely under hypothesis, reject all hypothesis the term that I'm going to use. If I get my data, look at it, say the difference in me five with an error of one, probability of observing a large if the Process is in the difference in means. It's not very observed that I'm going to read the null hypothesis that there's no means. Let's go ahead and test. So, the first thing I'm going to do is just get a test it. Say the means for the for group one zero. We've been doing difference throughout the entire. Difference now, we're going to calculate standard error statistics. And we're going to handle the LM function. We'll be using the LM if you haven't found out yet. It's coming this week, I believe, I'll be coming next week. All right. Then you're going to get what's called a Z statistic, which is just a matter of how many errors you're asking from zero. All right. So that estimate or standard error. That's called a statistic. These statistics are narcotic and goes to infinity. So, have done AP, there's a fair to do an AP it's about using statistics if it's less than 30. Don't like that. We have any sorts of data set. Right now, the problem with data is having too much, not having 10 observations. The I do want to make, if you are trying this with 10 observations, Use the normal approximation you're going to do just graph. The computation that you can do it better. So, um, we're going to keep the Z statistic, statistic through LM. And if the outcome is not directly under the null hypothesis, we use the null hypothesis. How is this going to play out? You run a linear and using L, you're going to get efficient the standard error as a value and a p value. At p value less than 0 0.05, we set the estimate statistically different than zero. At its most basic, if 
want to be pathologist, uh, data scientist, statistician, you just look, uh, you can see if 0 0.05. A lot of this core design to gives to actually do it. So we're going to that is um, a really neat survey experiment done uh, about 10 years ago by Butler and Brooke. And they will go to state leaders respond to black and constituents at a different rate. We're going to look at the results from this, do some hypothesis in the context of data from the treatment of this is whether so send an email of the legislators in the country. Treatment is sign it Mueller, um, a associated um, a, a um, president or a person writing on Jackson, the correspondent African American. Okay, where do things come from? It when you generate like this to go to Census Bureau, and they actually list first and second a year that correspond with um, Hispanic, um, Hispanic, um, American, and so forth. Go get this Census Bureau, where they did. <laughs> Send the sample in four states, leaders in four states. So that's 4,059 leaders. And come is whether they were okay. measured by how many people were this email. Here's the email from it name, which is either Sean to Les email at representative or legislative name. Name is treatment name. And I'm trying to how to register for the upcoming I the vote registration deadline. Can I call in or register? So is there anything I need to do or register so that I can vote your blank democratic Republican elections minimize those Treatment questions on the study. It's pretty clean, right? So the point to estimate is the following: this variable i at all is going to be beta for our inner plus beta one's treatment plus that over soup, and because the randomized and give this interpretation one. We implement our like, and we can summary out down below. So now for all of us in the regression. Intercept we're going to worry about for the most part, actually just the mean for the control. So in this case, set the treatment Zero, which means the Sean. Then, fifty-five, six, four per time. Some I did the Sean. Why? Because the tree take variable. I want to know how much more or likely were legislative reply take to Sean. That's what this estimate is going. To that's zero, zero, one, eight. In this case, it means a zero, zero, one, seven. Mean of the group. So Deshaun was reported to 55.4 percent time. Jake lied to 50.4 of the time. So more. what we want is, is this statistic significant? And in order for that, we get the precision estimate. So we're this 0, 0, 1, 6, which is some means, and divided by the standard error with 0 0.042, and that's going to give 0.25. If T value is above 0 0.1, 0 0.96, negative 1, 6, we statistically significant. Another way to do that is to consider the normal information, what's the ability? Of the difference, if they were in, if the true actually zero the difference or something larger, and then the p value to one. So 
how to reply to frequently, Sean, we can, there's no statistical significance between the two of them. All right. One way to about this is that we can't create this data noise. So if the P is less than 0, 0.5, it's statistically significant. In this case, yeah. Let's take this. Separate data into Democrats and Republicans. And what we see here is that Democrats try to um, at 50.98% time. And they reply on one six percentage more, one percentage more with a square of 0 0.019 value of point three, which is the, this, and a value of point zero six six. What we see is that Democratic ledgers reply making Sean equally. Now, the same day Republican later, um, replied Jake at point two nine. They applied, they replied to time five nine five for points left. Standard error of 0 0.020. 0. The T is negative 2.3, and value is 0, 0, 0, 0.046. 0 0.046 and 0 0.5. Yes, the question of this, right? So, through this stuff, that state leaders are likely, simply significantly less likely to apply to distribute Democratic legislators, the difference between them. All right. So, have you shown that Republicans are racist, Democrats are not? Oh, stop. One of the complicates this. Uh, one of the things that complicates the analysis the fact that the base reply rate Republicans were actually Sean more than Democrat. So that's an analysis that complicates. The differential Republicans is really significant and Jake and Desha But if, if I'm going to send an email to Republicans and Democrat, Republicans are more than Democrats. All right. We will move on from this and talk about one more. Yep. Do we independently? And we'll run through the statistics test data in just a moment. But in the authors, um, the authors out of Michigan or Russian several ago now, it, um, they want, they said, dear voter, do your and vote. Why do so many fail to vote? We've been about that for years, but it seems to get worse. The whole democracy is that our active part in government, the voice in government. Your voice started out on August, remember your rights and responsibilities is remembered of your civic duty. Well, that treatment condition. And dear register, you being why people fail to vote, et cetera, are now based on public, so you will not be protected again or in any way. Anything we are voting or not will remain comfortable and will not be to anyone else. Do your civic vote. That's another condition. Next condition. Registered vote. What if your neighbor or you voted? Why do so many people fail to vote? Et cetera. The chart shows some of your neighbors showing voted in the past. After the August election, we intend an updated you neighbors will know who voted. And who did not? Yeah, right. Like this, this IRB, there's not hidden. Um, yeah. So, what I'm going to do is compare the trait for the voters uh, at this map, the voters to the turnout county for those who no message. All right. 
going to compare the message to this message. Ones where people give their vote not. The trade in those that treatment was 30 percentage points. For the control, it was 30 percent. So at least some, that's something. It's 7 percent flip post elections, which flip control branches of government. Um, sample size 306 condition that we're going to talk neighbors and 18 that just had duty um, mission. Average treatment of estimate is zero seven. You run this through, and it'll give you an estimate zero point zero for the standard. So our estimate is zero seven. The error is zero two. And we talk to ninety percent confidence by taking our S or minus one nine six standards, and that's a fair for me to ask. So zero point seven plus. Plus 1.9 times 0 0.28. Again, for quizzes, um, for quizzes in particular, you can just write as 0, 0 plus or minus 96 times this actual number 0 to 8. I don't do that simplification as part of this. If we want to multiply 2 and 0, 0.0 plus or minus 0, 0.0, that's fine. We'll be able to understand both forms in this. We can put two sample test. Let's see. Oh, we'll stick with the confidence and actually running out of. So today we'll resume experiments. Folks, in the next lecture.